All right, here we are. Red Energy Arena. I'm Chris Novak. We just had some little technical difficulties there with the... So Kathy McLean, uh, Adam, last night hit a three-pointer in the corner to win the game, to beat Geelong in Geelong. Oh, big play there. She's going to score a lot of points today. We'll get some stats at three-quarter time and half-time. Adam might run through the scoring leaders at quarter time. Those first three, I think, were just uh, a few testers. Now she's uh, got the eye in. Now she uh, better watch out, long system, I think, if you're going to let her have four open threes in the first quarter. Follow inside, gone to the left. I think she even might be left. Really predicted uh, where she was going to be there. Let it out in front of her. Now, looking a bit tired here towards the end of the quarter here. Only uh, just over a minute, minute 15 to go as uh, Froling brings the ball up here. Oh, she's going to hit a three. This is not going to be good. Oh, yes, as um, the Braves coach here gets a timeout, yeah. Fair call. He said he got called three seconds down one end, and he was counting down this end, and they didn't call it. So he just let the umpire know about it. But either way, that's come and gone. Frolling coach straight out of timeout with three in the face. Just noticed number 13 from Launceston. You might remember this girl, mate. We'd, we would have done a few um, super camps and stuff. Great number oh, good block from there from Frolling. She's, um... I don't remember many things. Uh, ooh, is that Lufa trying to swing the elbows in the face of Wilson? Frolling with a little step back. That's going to be her bread and butter inside. <laughs> so if Lorne says aren't careful here, this could sneak out to a bit of a mid, mid to late teens uh, deficit and then it could be all over there. Frolling answers back with a three in the face of Bendigo. This one would go to 14 points. Nine assists, one more assist for Wilson for the dub-dub watch. Oh, wow. Falling again.